Hello, welcome to lesson number five in the project core or project strand here. Uh, the topic is obtaining primary data through databases. So what I, what I want you to be able to do after you watch this video is I want you to be able to locate a database. And we're going to be using Stats Canada and there's there are other databases out there. But we're going to stick with Stats Canada and I want you to be able to extract extract the data relevant to your topic. Okay, and that's going to be the challenge today for you. And what I'd recommend is get up your internet uh, browser. Uh, and kind of pause the video and do it with me, and then and then it's done and over with, and you can kind of follow through. So if you open up your browser and on the the project A uh, for this particular uh, project, you're looking at number five here, obtaining primary data through databases, and I have the website linked right there. So if you click on that, that's going to bring up Stats Canada, and it's specifically the CanSim. Uh, information. So this is the website you're looking at and what we're going to be using. So what you can do is two different things. What I would recommend is typing in your topic or a word that describes your particular topic and we'll work from there. So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to do an example and you can follow through uh, using your own information as you go. So my example uh, that I'm going to pick today um, it's going to be fairly generic. I'm going to go with, I'm going to type in cancer and see what comes up. So let's say I'm doing a, my topic, the main or central core of it is dealing with cancer. So once you type in your topic, you know, your general term here, then you hit your search button. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up all of the tables that have the word cancer in it. So for yours, you're going to have whatever topic you pick, picked, it'll come up with the results. So here's the challenge, challenging part, and I'll explain what you need to do, and then at this point you can pause it and kind of figure out what information you're going to need. So there's going to be, in this column here, is your descriptor. It tells you what that table has collected. So mortality by selected causes of death, by income adequacy, age group, and everything else. So in each of these represents a table that has information contained within it. Now for your project, you're probably going to be downloading at least five tables because they don't always have all the information in one table that you particularly may need. Okay? So you're going to have to go through, you're going to have to read the tables um, that, that you need to, and determine which ones have the information you need. So cancer incidents, um, like I said, there's a whole bunch of topics for me. Now, down below, I want to show, anywhere it says terminated, it means that it was no longer asked on the uh, stats can uh, survey that went out to people. So for example, this one only went from 79 to 99. Now, what we'll do for this project, just because of the stage we're at, with it being a, a grade 12 course, I'm going to allow you, if there's one that's been terminated that fits into your criteria, feel free to use the terminated one. Uh, because some of it goes up fairly far, like 04 is not too bad, 2004. So you really, this is going to take, this is where your time uh, is required. So you may want to just click on one table and follow along with what I'm going to do. And then, then you can come back and you can select your tables. So like I said, you may need up to five, six, seven tables uh, in order to get enough information to complete your project. So uh, let's say this is the one I want. Um, actually, which one? New cases, I'm picking one that uh, kind of fits in with what I want to do. Um, <laughs> let's pick five year survival estimates for prostate. Now, I know it only goes from 92 to 03, but that's okay. Uh, I still feel the information pertains to my st survey or study. So you can get a more detailed description uh, by hitting description. And then we'll go through, but some of the information is fairly generic, so I'm just going to go back. You want to click on the numeric code, and that is the actual file or data itself. So I'm going to click on that, and what's going to happen is I'm going to get a whole bunch of information like this. It's a large table. So this is where we need to use or go to manipulate. So the tab up here, the manipulate tab. So I'm going to click on the manipulate tab, and what it's going to allow me to do is, um, sorry, my mistake. I want to go to add remove data. Sorry, wrong one. There we go. That's what I want. So click on the add remove tab. What this allows you to do is pick out specific information that you may want. So for example, in step one, I only can pick Canada, so I can't change that. 
Now you might be, the age group is typically the second one that's available. So you may be looking or focusing on a particular age group. So what you would do is you'd unclick that and you'd click the age group or age groups that pertain to you. If you want all ages, then you would remain and leave it clicked as all. I'm going to look at uh, I'm going to look at people under 55 to see and talk about uh, perhaps the cancer that affects them. Maybe my focus is just on females, so you could just click on females. Or if you're looking at both sexes, you can select and deselect. It really depends on you know the information you have pulled up, but it allows you to go through and pick out specific information. Next, um, for me, I have the different types of cancers, and I am interested in all four, so I want to leave that. Now, this one's characteristics, so observed survival proportion. Uh, I'm going to leave it as is because some of that stuff, I'm not uh, overly confident as to what exactly is involved in it at this point in time. And then I can go down here, and then you can select your time frame. So you can see my ends at 2003, and it goes back fairly, go back to 92, so I might actually want to go back to 92. Now, the last one that you want to do here, you want to slip the switch this one, the pull-down menu, you want to go time in rows. And it just makes it easier when we go back, uh, when we go to the next stage and, and pull it into our spreadsheet program. So I'm going to hit apply. And you can always go back. If you, if you think you made a mistake, you can always go back and fix that particular problem. So now you can see the data is arranged, males, females. I've got the different types of cancers across the top. I have this different information here that I may or may not want. I don't know yet. Um, and all the years are along the, uh, in the first column, which is going to make it easier for me to graph in the end. Okay? So you can, at any point in time, go back to add remove data. Um, the other ones, as far as that goes, the manipulate, um, I would leave it alone for this unless you were feeling very comfortable with this overall process. And like I said, you're going to have to repeat this. You're going to have to search for the, uh, the appropriate tables. And this is where that thinking mark is going to come in on that project. It's your ability to find that. So once you have the table, so I have a table I'm happy with. This is the information I want. Or it has information in it that I do want. Uh, maybe it doesn't have everything, but it's got what I need. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is you just highlight it. So I'm going to go across, highlight down, and just try to get all the numbers. So I've highlighted the table. And now I'm just going to hit copy or control C on the computer. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about uh, using Google Spreadsheet. You can pick whichever one you want, Quattro Pro, Excel, uh, or you can use the Google Docs. The reason I like Google Docs is because you can work at it at both home and at, and at school. So I'm going to click on that first cell. I'm going to do control V. And it did not, oh, there it goes. Whew, I was thinking for a second, it wasn't going to work. So it's entered or copied and pasted all the data in for me. Um, some of them are not sure exactly what it copied in. But what it allows me to do is now we can use the skills we learned in Unit 3 on how to manipulate data, and we can create graphs. And I'm going to talk about that in the next stage. So your only goal here is to create some data, find data that suits your particular topic. So this one you can title. Um, rename it. So rename, uh, I'll just say cancer one for argument's sake. And like I said, you're going to need multiple tables. So what I would do is select a new table or add a new sheet. And then I'm going to return back to my can sim. Okay. And I'm going to go back and across the top, this is called breadcrumbs. So I'm going to go back to can sim. So that's the one or the layer I'm looking for. I'm going to type in cancer again. And I'll hit search. And what I can then do is I can pick another table because, like I said, you're going to need multiple tables. So let's do five years for breast cancer. So I'm also interested in breast cancer. So again, you pick a table. I'm going to add remove data. So now I'm looking again. And you see it's very similar to these, these ones. Um, so I want all of Canada. Uh, I don't want everyone. I'm looking at people under 55, so I'm going to have to include that one probably. Um, I'm, I'm more interested in just the female population for this one. Uh, again, the selecting or the characteristics uh, depends on the report as to whether you want to switch it or not. Uh, for the most part, I'm just looking for frequency and observed proportions. 
And I'm looking at, I'm going back to 92 for this as well. And remember, you need to switch it to time as rows. It just makes it easier in your graphing process. Hit apply. And now I have the data. I look at it. I'm like, hmm, I like this. This is, gives me breaks down by year for, with the females. Um, relative survival ratio versus proportion. Uh, you can see the columns are, are relatively the same. And it's just a different style of measurement. So that works for me. I'm just going to copy it in, control C. Now I bring up my spreadsheet. And there we are. So now I have a, my second piece of information. So like I said, you're going to have to, this is going to, the time it takes you is just looking through those descriptors. All right. If I go back to my, my descriptor there, let's find cancer, search. So you're going to spend time looking through these descriptions, trying to find stuff that matches up with your topic. And that, that would be the challenge. Once you get that, the actual manipulation of the data is not too bad. You can get the information you want, and then you can copy and paste it into your spreadsheet. And from here, I've got another video coming up that will talk about how you make graphs. Um, I would recommend, if possible, if you have access to Excel, it's a much more powerful program, but it's not the end of the world. Google Docs does a good job. We're still probably going to have to use the graphing calculator uh, to do some of the analysis in terms of trend analysis. Uh, but like I said, it's still, uh, this program covers quite a bit of stuff. I would avoid using Quattro Pro on the computers because it's not very friendly to take outside the school. And like I said, Google Docs allows you to, to take it home and you can work on it at home as well. All right, so that will get you to the point where you can get the data into spreadsheets, and that's really the only job here is to search through, find that information through the StatsCan website. And it will be more challenging for some than others. It depends on the topic you picked. So don't be frustrated if you need assistance with finding it. And we may have to tweak your thesis a little bit uh, for the project to suit. And I mean, that's not because of you. It's the limitations of Statistics Canada. The information and its accessibility has changed so much over the last couple of years that it's not, uh, not a perfect system anymore. So anyhow, if you have any questions, ask, and we'll get that sorted out in class. Good luck.